Hello and welcome back. This is Sue Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed that interview with the amazing, talented Candy Biggs. And we also have another person. I think we're keeping it gender equal today because another amazing talent, but this happened to be Rick Hassani. Yes, yes. Okay, can stop screaming. Let me introduce. Calm down. Uh, his name is Ike, originally Ikechuku Eric. I uh -huh. <laughs> is a <laughs> Nigerian singer, songwriter, and musician. Um, Hassani was born on 6th of January. I'll just hold his ear so that they can be mystery. In Port Harcourt, and you know when you're big, you're big because this guy is full of nominations and in three categories in 2016 All Africa Music Awards, um, Best Artist in African RB and Soul, Video of the Year, The Most Promising Artist, and it goes on and on. He says, Really, so let me just stop. He also received two nominations at the Hades in 2016, including Best Alternative Song for Gentleman, my, one of my favorites. And in December of 2018, the Files and Alumni Associated believe won Best Collaboration at the Galaxy Music Award. So he's not brand new to, you know, blows and like hits and all of that. That's how star dudes, basically. Here's another song though, um, Thunderfire You, that unfortunately we cannot play on TV because we want to be bad belay. But please welcome with me, Rick Hassani. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Welcome. Can, can, I, can I just shoot? Can I just shoot. Just your shot. Okay, so bro, I saw a post about you, you know, talking about your six hundred thousand dollars net worth, mm. and brother came out with a bragging right, and when he walked into the studio, I was blinded by his rings. Are, ah. you, are, you, are you beginning to wear blings? Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, I just wear some, some, some rings because I'm a prince now. I'm no longer, mm. I'm no longer okay. a gentleman. Oh, 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 okay, mm, yeah, take it away. Yeah, mm. I like that. I yeah. like the, the style. Has. I like yeah. the. <laughs> Let's calm down. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> I like the style. I like so the sound. I like the I like all of that. There's something very unique about you. Mm. Um and you can tell from even the way you look. I don't know mm. if God knew what he was doing in his packaging. Yeah, I, I, like he kind of like I, saw the future I, I, or whatever. So good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I wanna know from you the horse's mouth basically. Yeah. What was it like about your upbringing or what do you think contributed to who you are today? Oh wow, definitely my upbringing. Um, I, I come from a very academic family. Mm -hmm. um, both my parents were lecturers at the time when I was born, oh, and wow. now they're professors. Um, oh wow! Yeah. So oh, you know, God, God bless his soul. I just lost my dad uh, two two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Three weeks that. ago. Yeah. So so I was born into a learning environment. Mm. So. I'm, I'm really a student of life in general. I love mm. learning. I love mm. walking into a place and seeing what I can learn and seeing what I can tap mm. from. So that, that has been my approach to my life, you know. I learn a lot. Like okay, I walk so into a room, I want to see. Oh, where this did going? the music going? now find you in the your learning I have space? No idea. <laughs> yeah, like lecturers. That's not doesn't sound musical to me. Yes, so. no, it's not. That's the funny thing. We've always sang. We've like my right. whole family. We've always always sang. And my right. dad used to act. Okay. In his younger so days, there's, there's so. creative juices flowing in there the family. Is. So there when is. did you now decide that? Okay, I'm not going to be a professor or any other academic thing that probably was an mm -hmm. option for you. When did you decide? Okay, it's music. I'm going to do. It was after my master's degree. Okay. And that was because the thing with academics is because I was born into such an academic family, it's, it's normal to me. It doesn't mm. feel like it's a challenge. Right. You know, it, it just, I needed something that made me feel alive, and that was music for me. You mm. know, academics is really, it was too normal. What right, was your so, academics in, sir? Really mm? What was your academics in? What was your master's in, for example? Um, when was it? What was it in? Oh, economics. Ah. Serious matter. Yeah. All right, so um, um, can I ask you, um, your parents, the professors, or sorry, um, your like, dad was a professor as yeah. well. Um, what university? Oh, um, University of Science and Technology, Port Harcourt. Reverse. All right, but yeah. you went yeah. to yeah. Covenant. I went to Covenant, yes. Is that reason why they did not trust the Nigerian education ah. system <laughs> and they took you to a what private kind of university? Oh. <laughs> yes, no, I don't no, know. It's just, honestly, it's just honesty. honestly, I had no idea. I wanted to go to Futu, actually. That was mm. my dream. But mm. my dad said, eh, Covenant. So, Nadia, and <laughs> I don't know what his reason was. <laughs> and we can't ask him now. Exactly. So. <laughs> okay, exactly. Okay. So, sorry. Yeah, Another thing, um, The Prince I Became mm. is one of my favorite mm. albums right now. Really? Yeah, people don't look at me like I'm that soft guy, <laughs> right? But early in the morning, trust me, I listen to Rico. I, I love everything. Oh, I love. Okay. See, thunder fire you. I don't see anybody it's that wants to. Like, you know, go better for you. <laughs> with the with the Adley bomb. We don't play. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a solid album. Now, what what influences your music? Because it's not the regular Nigerian R and B. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, um, I don't know how my songs sound the way it sounds. It's, it's just um. 
I don't know. I just make it like I, I can't explain it. I'm telling you, I, I really can't. Like it just, I just want to want to write, and it just comes out like that. Uh, because yeah. it seems unique to me. Is yeah. it, and uh, you know, when you listen, I, I took a gap with listening to you. I remember mm. when you first first came out, you were like the best thing after fried rice. Even yeah. just looking at you and stuff. Yeah, very yeah. edible. The sound sound was an ah, it's just in everybody's bodies. Like yes, mm -hmm. So I, I did that, and then I don't know if you went silent or I just stopped listening, but I yeah. didn't listen again until um, Turn the Fire you and your new songs yeah. now yeah. and. You, it's very clear. Maybe you don't know this. I don't know because you seem to not know how your magic is just flowing. <laughs> but um, it seems very intentional that you wanted to evolve. Like yeah. you could have kept the same vibe. Oh, like yeah. um, people do oh, keep yeah. the same vibe, and that's successful. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But you were very intentional, even with the way like you sang and the whole Thunder Fire thing, for example. Very unique um, play mm. with words and oh, lingo yeah. and jargon mm. and all of that. So was that your? Was that deliberate? Like I want to give these people something very different or it just happened oh yes oh yes um first of all i've I grown i've mm. genuinely grown you know I, it, it's you know if, if somebody grows you, you see it now. yeah you, the person is not trying to show you that oh i'm taller now or you can't see that the person is taller you know but still like there had to be intentionality there had to be like i i, I wanted people to see how much i'd grown i didn't want to sound like we had so many songs on the album that sounded like when, when we were making the album we had so many songs that sounded like my old songs or like mm. we took them off the album all right. Like 12 of them, we took them off the mm. album, you know, because we wanted to make it so new and so fresh. All right. So, um, you know, when disciplinary measures are put in place, it's supposed to make you learn. When you go to jail, you're supposed to be reformed, mm -hmm. rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. When you go to the rehab, you're supposed to not be a drug addict mm -hmm. or to get rid of your depression. But when the NBC banned your song, was that a message that was communicated to you or you just felt, no, this is not a working system for mm. creatives? Honestly, I didn't see that anything. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Like the NBC mm. ban it. You know, it's um But did you well, get any did, message? Yeah, was well, there a personal man that why do you think they banned that song apart from the words, the lyrics? Was there a reason why you think they banned it? Was there a message they were passing across to young artists or stuff like really? that? Really? I, I don't know. I've, honestly, I've not thought about it this much. Mm. Honestly, I'm telling you, man. Um can we think about it together? Please? Oh, okay. I, but I, but I think, I think I, honestly, I think what they're trying to say is, and I, and I, I kind of get where they're coming from. Mm. They're saying thunder fire, the phrase, is just, is just too strong a phrase, mm. a, a phrase to put on radio or to put on, you know, I don't know. And I, and, I, and, I, and I understand it, you know. But the thing is, they're coming at it from just the wrong angle, man. Like, they're looking at it from a, like a, a, a bad, dark... Mm. It's just, it's a clever song. It is a very clever song. Everybody says Thunder Fire, you from, you know, you <laughs> yes. get, somebody I, has I, said I, it I like to you today. Okay, 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 before okay. we like the facts, you have, <laughs> <laughs> you have disrupted my show okay. and your fans are disturbing me. Left, okay. right, and center, just in my ears, screaming in my ears, saying, Ricky, oh my gosh, I'm about to face this talk to ah! So, okay, they didn't say that exactly, <laughs> but they did. <laughs> um, so, we are going, this is very new for us because we don't have that many people that, okay. you know, can't wait till social media. So, they okay. won't talk to you fresh from the pot. Oh, really? Um, so, if you can please connect us to our lovely listener that wants to talk to our guest, that would be nice. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome to Tea Time. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay, so please feel free. Rikasani is here at your service. Yeah, I'll be following him on um, Twitter for the past uh, last week. Okay. How far? So now? I I open I open an account for him. He followed the account. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be, okay, I'll be I love this. I love this. Man, yeah, I love I love you more. Oh. Man, I, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much. Keep up, keep up the good work. Thank you. We shall hold him accountable. Keep Thank giving us the good sign. Thank oh. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for that call. That, that was, was so awesome. Real. That yeah. was real. Like, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, he really likes so you. Thank you so much. Please, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please keep the calls coming in if you yes, if you can definitely. have him on. Yeah, the show. but I mean, like honestly, the NBC thing, I didn't think more, too too much about it. Mm. Honestly, it's just it's a clever song. But you reacted to it on Twitter. A so. lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a I like lot, that. No, what did I? No, mm. you, you're not calling some people hypocrites, saying um, of course you're biased, of course you're this, of course you're that. Man, I don't know, man. Man, I like I that just... new Asan is actually. Was it? So now you're talking and having. Hey, no. Uh, like, no. <laughs> your no, that's, the thing, that's, the, that's the thing because, like, I, I, I felt like in the past. I mean, being, a, being a gentleman, my persona was mm. very meek and humble, mm. and Absolutely. it was. So they were trying to trample humble. on that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, 
Mm. I'm like, yo, like I really don't do sleep this. On you know, like, me. Don't, don't, don't sleep try on me. that. Like, mm. So this year, you have you, everybody has to stop. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? Mm. Like I really do this. For and I, honestly speaking, I think I like that as well because you know, <clears> remember I said the first time we watched you, it was about this like mischievous, like oh, I want to eat yeah. this guy's fried rice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, now you with this, confessing. I'm telling you, confession. We should change this your confession time. But you know, this new person that's engaging with fans, like I can tell your personality and you're posting more pictures yeah. and are not perfect like you know side mm -hmm. angle portrait yeah, yeah, like just yeah. really raw stuff oh, like yeah. your family and all of that so i really like that um is there something else that we should be looking out for though i know from the fire you still mm. simmering and all of that mm, yeah. but is there any more music are we also the looking at but, oh, yeah, there's a whole album uh, collaborations as well oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. are you into um, collaborations you like that stuff because oh yeah oh yeah i do mm. now i have a lot of collaborations. i mean on my album there's salty soul there's yes, nikki there jam is. there's yeah. frank edwards yes. there's, uh, yeah um I don't know if I should say this now, but I'm actually putting out a deluxe album. Okay, so I'm putting out a deluxe version of, mm. of the prints I became album with extra eleven tracks, brand new tracks. Um Peruzzi, Ricardo Banks, Woo! Yeah, YJ, um, DBY. Our girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Just uh, wait, wait, wait. I was even going to oh ask that God. question. I have shot myself. Yeah, you did. Like, right, so you so took let's the guy. Let's get into YJ, right? Yeah. Now, okay, wait. Before you go on. Oh, sorry. YJ is, I think your good is, is working. We have another guest that wants to interrupt you. First question. Okay. So, um, hello, guest. I mean, hello, Kola. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Tea Time. Your favorite is around. This sounds like my HR. Um, <laughs> <laughs> your favorite is on the table. Please feel free. We can hear you. Yeah, I'll speak to Rick, Rick Asani. Hey, how far now? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? Oh. <laughs> hey, what's, okay, what's your name now? What's your name? I'm your biggest fan. Oh, thank you so much. Your music, I love everything about you. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm, thank you. I'm so happy hearing your voice. I'm glad, I, I wish I could just see you like see oh. you right now. I, I really love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, you so much. You've been watching this time. I know love me. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I, this makes me very happy now. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you, Cola, for that scream and a lot of love. Even if I felt it. I mean, so I felt I it. Oh my God! I think my next question will start. Oh my God! I'm your biggest. Oh my God! I'm your biggest. Can you tell us about what Jay? Oh my God! What's the biggest publicity stunt you've had to pull? Because we now we know. Now we know that that was a publicity stunt for oh, but everything the, video. Why do you feel it was a publicity stunt? Obviously, it was for the um, best thing video. What Jay was okay, on the show was actually. That? That, was, that, that was that was Jay's. Yeah, so it was a publicity, publicity stunt for Wajay. Now I'm asking personally. Now that's you know what. what mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know, a little bird also told us that you people are entangled. That there's an entanglement, <laughs> entanglement. somewhere. Oh, yeah. but we don't there need to be three people in the entanglement. This yeah. one, they are just twisting around each other. Okay, so it's not entangled. Yeah, yeah. Still, that's still entangled. Yeah, still, yeah. That's nice. So tell us, is there an entanglement? I don't know. Tell us now. I can't say anything. The prince you became, or the uh, prince has to speak. I know, a prince, sometimes royalty doesn't speak. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just, there is, just there there is a lovely fan waiting to talk to the royalty. Mm -hmm. Hello, fan. Hey! I'll find out. <laughs> Hello, we're with you. Are you still You're there? Okay. How fun are you? Can we come Yes, can hear you. I can hear you, bro. How far now? I'm very excited. I'm very pleased to me. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? You can hear me now. I thought I was listening to the song. I thought I was listening to the song. You don't feel I'm... You know me before you talk to me. You know? Oh, my, your network bad. Yes, unfortunately, we can't really hear you. I have a lot of call on WhatsApp. He said what's it? Okay, so... Please try and call us back so we, he can get your information. But yeah, let's go on. All right, so um, you know, let's talk about um the music for you now. Mm. What does it mean to you? What does music really mean to you? Because Honestly, like I say this all the time, like the mere fact that I can just create music, it's, mm. I'm satisfied. I'm telling yeah. you, everything else is extra. Yeah. I, I really mean that. Like, but how, the how, fact how, that I can just think of an idea yeah. and sing it and it comes out mad, mind blown. Mm. Like all the money or all the like, all those things are extra. You know what I mean? Okay, Honestly. but it, uh, would you say that you are a musician? 
Do you know why I'm, I asked I'm, this I'm question? I'm not a musician. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm Rick Hassani. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah, I'm not a musician. Mm. No. You know the reason why I asked that? You don't mm. do very well with showbiz or like... Mm -hmm. um, you seem like somebody who is just participating in a hobby that happened to blow. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like you're not taking it Like too. it wasn't... Really? Like, yeah, you're not your own in, like... Really? Like you just sing and song just blows and you're like, oh yeah, oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I, <laughs> like you don't have to do too much. I'm honestly... You are just, wow. you, no, don't you yeah. feel that way? Because when, when your success comes. Like, yo, we work like crazy. The wow. work is... In, my manager is here, he can't even believe it. Like, honestly, the work is, is out of control. It's, mm. it's out of control. It's, it's, not, it's not easy at all. Mm. <laughs> it's not easy at all. So do you focus work. on that music or you have something else that you're doing that's not music? Music, 100%. Oh, wow. For now, but I, I have uh, my fashion line that's coming out. Of course you do. Yeah, I have my furniture company that I've been working on for a while. Mm. So. But yeah, for, for now, music. But you skipped my question on the biggest publicity stunt you've had to pull for yourself to I've, blow I've never, I've never done any publicity Would you ever do that? Would there be a reason I don't, why I don't you put out will. something that's not real? You know, I don't real. think I will because I'm just too honest a guy. Like, I don't like, you know, be, <laughs> no, honestly, but, and I'm not saying this to, you know, it's just, honesty is easier. It's easier. Mm. You know, why, why would I want to stress myself by um, just, just uh, lying and then I have to keep up with the lie every time? Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's easier to be honest. Yeah. It's easier to just come here and be how I am. You know what I mean? Sure. Okay, so your, 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 your interaction with music and fame and all of that, mm. has that affected you in any way? Not really, no. Not really, no. The, the thing about fame is, and the way I see it is just, we in this position, we are here to give to people, right? I'm here to give people my voice, mm. give people, mm. make people feel some type of way, sure. give people help, give, make people feel some, some type of way when they listen to my songs or something like that. So I'm here to give to people. So the wow. more popular I get or the more fame I get, it just means that there are more people that I'm giving this thing mm. to. That's just the way I see it. I mean, it's like, right. it's, like, it's like asking Jesus how he was dealing with the fame. Not she, like he came guy, to... You know, it's co it's comparisons of royalties, <laughs> no, but it's godly true. people. It's true. Like what he wanted, but Jesus was very famous. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he walked into a place everybody's clamoring at it. Mm. He, he knew what he came to do. He mm. came to give to people. So, of course, people will come towards sure. him. Mm. You know? So, that's the same way I see myself as I well. I mean, you did um, mention that you sang with um, Edward. It was a Christian. Frank one. Edwards, yeah. Frank Edwards. Edwards. Oh, yeah. So, like, would you also say that you dip your feet into the gospel scene as well? First of all, I've always wanted to have a gospel song. It's mm. been a dream of mine to mm. walk into a church and the choir is singing a song that I wrote. You know? So, I've been trying to have, like, a gospel song for the longest time. It didn't happen with the first album, so I was like, ah, this is what must happen. Mm. You know? So, I made that song. But, yeah, that aside, I'm very spiritual. I'm mm. intensely spiritual. You know okay. I, mean? I like spiritual. All right. Spiritual. So, I'm not going to question. ask you, um, you know, how you deal with them female fans because that? I know there are lots <laughs> and I know that the really? problem. Really? I know that the problem on its own. <laughs> and I remember about some interview I saw recently about some guy asking you about your sexuality. I said, this one, ah. even, even if he no one's straight, yeah, <laughs> he must straight. Yeah. But, but that's on the side, though. <laughs> but, but that's on the side. Ah. Um, now, turn the fire, you. A lot of people find it personal. Now, when I'm singing that song, I get some beeps where they see right, for my mind. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Was it personal for you? Was that song personal? No, it was inspired from personal, personal experience. Right, so tell for us real. about that experience real quick. Right? It was, it was, it was, was a experience. Now that the, now the gist of the experience is in the song. <laughs> so you get baby do you like that? Just, yes, not not really, just an imbecile. Oh, okay. I think it's. I think that's how we. Yeah, it's okay. We can leave it at that. <laughs> that's please, that's please, 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 pull your traffic in case the yes. with Kasani is still new. It's on people's <laughs> TVs right now. They've enjoyed this conversation. They like your style. They've heard of all the things that you've done, yeah. and they want to, you know, connect with that. Where can they go to? Where can they find your music? All of oh, that. Oh yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter at Rick Hassani. That's at R I C H A W S A N I, or just go to my website to get everything about me that you need. It's www.rickhassani.com. R I C H A W S A N I. Finito. And that is a wrap for today, guys. Thank you so much. If you started from the show, started with, with the show with us and you're here now, you are the real OG. And, and don't baby. forget that you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Please don't forget that you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. For all the guys who called in today, shout out to you people as well. I didn't get your names, but thank you for joining in as well. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. So yes, we have Visa, we travel outside. A big thank you goes out to my beautiful guest, Rick Hassani, yes. and also um, Candy Blix, who was here earlier. And of course, my co anchor if you beautiful, are you okay? My beautiful, <laughs> handsome, delicious, scrumptious, 
nice, <laughs> fantastic, um, edible um, co anchor, Ivolu okay. Alshike, no, 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 no. <laughs> for keeping it absolutely jiggy with me today. And of course, the entire production team, thank you for putting all of this together. My name is Ifilmai, your favorite. Uh.